well, literally 20 seconds out of the starting gate from the farm, got myself a flat tire. So let's go back and fix that shit. Riding away from good people who care about me, shelter, warmth, all sorts of good farm cooking. Makes me question my sanity a little bit. Why don't I just stay here? Goodbye, Oregon. I'm in California. Pretty much, yeah. First day out of Malin in California in the Modoc National Forest here. This is about the most isolated I've been so far. I can't hear a thing. I'm a couple miles off the highway. Usually I'm camped next to the highway so I can uh, hear the, the traffic going by, but no, I'm in dead middle of nowhere. It's very nice. I'm a little nervous about the chills tonight, but. Um, I'm in the mountains, so it's unavoidable. Camp's all packed up. I'm getting on the road again. It was a pretty good night. It was uh, eerily silent, and surprisingly, it did not get as cold as the last couple nights up in the desert. So, it goes to show you something. I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet. Bucket lift checkpoint, world's largest Pokeball. Oh yeah. Almost one o'clock. Coming up on Beaver. First town I've seen since leaving Malin, really. Looking to get some food in me. I continue on my way. I'm about 30 miles in. I'd like to get another 30 done today. Let's see what happens. Happy Creek. Nice little place I found. Uh, signs say no camping. I think, yes, camping. Check it out. Beautiful. Tired and turning in. This is the first night I've pitched the hammock without a rain fly or a bug net. No mosquitoes. And no cold. We shall see. I might have to get up and put a rain fly on in the night to insulate a little bit. But right now it feels pretty feels pretty good. Taking the trail back towards uh, the main road like I usually do when I happen to cross this. Geocache! What's in there? Let's find out. Definitely the best thing I found in the geocache. A little crocheted toadstool. Cool. Well, I didn't make as much distance as I would have liked to today, but uh, that can't be avoided. My knee's been hurting, and uh, I had to backtrack about 10 miles from Bernie. But I found a nice little camp spot just inside the Lassen National Forest. Got myself a little creek bed, and I think I'm going to. Uh, sleep well with that waterfall up there today. I'm very close to the road, but it shouldn't matter when I'm listening to the creek. This is so nice. Something about poking my food with a stick feels really good. 
like my ancestors have been doing it for millions of years. Mm. So another night, three nights in a row now, out on the road. Cold. How cold? Oh, extremely cold. like a little girl cold. Ah! Oh, brain freeze from the outside. Ah. Man. But good. In about two minutes from now, I'll be hot again. Thanks to this little guy. Well, it's 120. I'm just now walking my fully loaded bike back to the road, and we're gonna get on with the climb. <laughs> I've always wanted to try playing violin in a cave. Today's the day. Full of some kids about my age just pulled up alongside me. I never even stopped pedaling, but they offered me not one but two cookies. Uh, so, got a nice uh, moral support morale booster there. I gotta pull over and put these cookies away. This is the spot, pretty nondescript. Unimpressive place if you ask me. Tons of sticks everywhere. Which means... I'm gonna hear anything that moves through these woods. Can be to my advantage, true. Can also keep me awake. I was so excited when I found this. People keep asking me when I stop, what do I wanna eat? What do I miss eating? Couldn't think of anything, but... I have now. Mm. I was questioning why I spent six dollars on this IPA today. Sitting here right now taking a sip, I realize I miss home and the nostalgia of Annie's mac and cheese and a good Indian pale ale. I guess just reminds me a little bit of being home all these miles away. <clears throat> to Portland. <laughs> 